So, my eyes are correct. So the Dead Space remake finally released, and along with its release, my anxiety faded away. To my pleasant surprise, the remake is pretty fucking good. I'll be honest, my hopes weren't very high. Anytime EA's logo is attached to any video game, my immediate thought is they've already used the company like a flashlight. Thankfully, I was wrong here. But anyway, I digress. Upon Dead Space's original release, it was already a damn near perfect game. So what Motive Studio did was come back and revitalize the graphics, story, and mechanics, and even add a few new ones. Albeit some changes were arguably worse. Personally, I only disliked a few things. Most new changes I actually welcomed with open arms. And you know what? We can sit here all day and talk about whether this game deserved a remake or not, because the original still holds up to today's standards in my opinion. But I don't give a fuck because the remake kicks ass. Now, if the remake flopped, I wouldn't be a happy camper, to say the least. So, I have to say, thank you, Motive Studios, for this amazing remake. And I guess thank you to EA for publishing it and not wiping your ass with it. So, anyway, in Dead Space, you play as Isaac Clark, a systems engineer who volunteers to repair the USG Ishimura after a communication blackout. And, well, to make a very long story short, you get trapped in this hell hole of a ship after crash landing your space shuttle, in which necromorphs used to be human, but were turned into alien zombies. Zombies. How were they turned into alien zombies, you may ask? Well, they were turned by an alien artifact known as the Marker. The Marker was discovered after the Ishimura, or better known as the biggest planet cracker, basically a big ass mining ship, started to mine a planet named Aegis 7. I'm not going into all the details of the story, as it's really not needed for the scope of this video. And plus, I don't really want to spoil such a great game. But a lot of you already know what Dead Space is all about. So, what did the remake actually change and fix? Quite a lot, actually. For starters, Isaac can actually speak now. The gameplay has dragged drastically been improved, especially the gunplay, aiming no longer feels so stiff anymore, and it feels much better to shoot things and use kinesis, stasis, etc. Coupled with this, all the weapons have an overhauled secondary firing mode, which is pretty badass. Also, they've added some cool gameplay mechanics like security clearances and circuit breakers to unlock doors and find more supplies or even find side quests or secrets. Basically, they've added more incentives to go explore a bit more. Not to mention you can retrace your steps to find items you may have missed the first time around, which in the original game you couldn't revisit past levels, but now you can. And another huge change are all of the zero-g levels. They have all now been redone and you can move freely around in zero gravity, compared to before you could only jump from place to place. And yes, of course, I'll address the elephant in the room. The fucking graphics. <laughs> the most important thing when it comes to game design. I'm kidding. I don't give a fuck how good the graphics are. If the game runs like shit and plays like shit, it's probably Bruh. shit. But yes, I will say the graphics are pretty spectacular. And things on the walls, such as fans, pipes, etc., can actually be breaking off the wall now, which really adds to the atmosphere of the game. Before we move on, though, I have booted up the OG Dead Space to compare it to the remake. Then that's when I realized it was lacking basic setting options like button remapping, or even changing the sensitivity on your controller. It's little things like this that really start to pile up by the end of the game, and it really shows that this game really could have used a remake, and that's aside from all the major gunplay overhauls. But all that's here in the remake, fortunately. There are a fuck ton of setting options now, maybe even a little too many. Now, the main changes and probably the most controversial are that all the characters have been remodeled and Isaac being able to speak throughout the entire game now. Right out of the gate, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I love these changes and I'll tell you why. Originally, when I seen Isaac's new face in the trailers, it was an immediate red flag because I thought once again EA was overstepping their boundaries in an attempt to pulverize an already dead franchise that they've already killed themselves. Luckily, I was wrong. I really like Isaac's new look, and plus the facial expressions are eerily realistic considering they're using Gunnar Wright's real face, which is the voice actor of Isaac Clarke. I can completely understand why some people may not like the new face design. You could argue that the old face model looks more like a regular person, which in turn adds more to the overall story. It's not about a hero that's overly charismatic or even handsome looking. He's just a regular dude thrown into a horrible situation, having to fight off terrifying alien creatures. But then on the other hand, it's really subjective. 
Isaac's new face could be argued to not be very fitting with Visceral Games' original vision of Dead Space and what it should have been. But, in my personal opinion, I love the new look of Isaac. And honestly, I love the look of all the other characters as well, especially Hammond. But Nicole's new face design is a little odd for me. And no, it's not because she's not as attractive as the original, as some morons like to argue. It's because according to the lore, Nicole is supposed to be 39 years old. But in the remake, she looks to be around 50 years old. And I mean no disrespect to the actress. Tanya Clark did a phenomenal job with voice acting. And she looks far better than I would at 50 years old, that's for damn sure. It's just a little strange to me. Funnily enough, in the original Dead Space, it was the opposite. Isaac looked way older than Nicole. In fact, Isaac looked to be around 30 years older than Nicole. But in Dead Space 2, I think they accurately depicted what Nicole would look like as a 39-year-old woman in a survival horror situation. All I'm saying is, is in the remake, she looks a little bit too old to be a 39-year-old woman. It really makes you wonder why Nicole looks so much younger, though, in the original Dead Space. Kind of makes you think she was supposed to look very attractive to drive the narrative a little bit. Like, oh my god, my hot girlfriend is missing. I'm coming to save you, baby. But anyway, I don't think it's that big a deal. On to the more important topic of whether or not Isaac should be a voice protagonist. Personally, I think Isaac being voice acted in the remake adds so much more value to the game. I can understand wanting to have a silenced Isaac, so that a way it could potentially add more of a creepy role-playing aspect to the game. But in Dead Space 2, they scrapped that idea anyway, and that's when Isaac became more of his own character. In the remake, dialogue sections seem to be way less clunky because he actually responds to questions and gives a little bit more backstory to things about his personal life, even giving tips to other characters and what to do in certain situations when crash landing the shuttle or fixing shit around the Ishimura. To me, that shows Motive really understands Isaac's character and that he's actually an engineer and not just some run-of-the-mill hero. Overall, I think Isaac being able to speak now really strengthens this already almost perfect game. For instance, when you first become stranded on the Ishimura and all the characters are oblivious as to what has happened yet, when walking across the floor, Isaac will say this when spotting a little bit of blood on the ground. There's something on the floor here. Is that? Isaac, I need that there. I think it just adds a lot more to the game, more of a build-up, you know? You gotta kinda put yourself in Isaac's shoes. I mean, think about it. If you were to crash land on this ship, and you found no one to be there, but you did find a quart of blood on the ground, what would be going through your mind? It just seems pretty cool that Isaac was shocked about it rather than being completely silent through the game. Which obviously shit picks up pretty fast after this part, and stuff gets way more gory than that. But that little quart of blood was a peek into the fucked up haunted house that Isaac winds up in. After playing through the game and recording this video, I really only have a few gripes. One being that there's a little too much ambient noise throughout the levels in the background. I don't know, it's not the biggest deal ever, but I think I prefer the eerily quiet, almost dead Ishimura. You could literally hear a pin drop, it was so quiet. In the remake, there's a lot of ambient sounds, between the lights flickering and hearing the slight humming of the enginery and the walls that are running the ship. I understand it's for realism, considering it would take lots of power to run a ship that size, I'm sure. But with that kind of realism, it seems you've lost some of the creepiness the older game brought on. But don't get me wrong, it's not over-the-top noisy or anything. I'd actually argue it's balanced very well, but there was something about that almost lifeless, completely silent Ishimura we got in the original game. It was so quiet in that game to the point where I was literally afraid to walk because I was so worried of attracting necromorphs to the sound of my footsteps. And my last gripe being the menu screen. It isn't nearly as creepy anymore, but in reality, there really isn't a title screen in the remake. When you launch the game, it loads up, and you just press continue, then you just load in. But with that, we lost one of the greatest title sequences of all time. Anyways, I was very impressed with the Dead Space remake. I'm really curious to see where they take the franchise next, if anywhere. And I want to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below, so be sure to do that. And with all that said, if you haven't already, go out and buy the Dead Space remake to show EA that single-player games are still very much enjoyed.